Hello everybody, the Raven Knight here, and today I want to do something a little interesting. You know I stream at least once a week, or at least I try to if I'm available to, and quite often what happens is I get a lot of questions in chat that are read to me by my brother or by other people who are with me, and I try my best to answer them as clearly and as honestly as I can. But there are some questions that I get asked that I get ad nauseum like they're ones that are asked every single stream and i get very tired of answering them over and over and over again it's not that i don't like you guys that's not it at all it's just when i get asked that constantly these same questions constantly i kind of go do you do you not watch my other streams or something like that so so what I want to do is I want to do this quick little video where I answer the eight most common questions I get asked um, on my YouTube channel. And that way, whenever people say, hey, here's a question, and this is one of these eight questions, I can say, here's a link to a video where I answer that completely and coincisely. So that way you can know the answer. <laughs> so um, so let, let's get started. So are you all ready? I'm ready. Let's, let's do it. So. Number one, who do you main in For Honor? I get asked this constantly. And the answer is, I don't really main anybody. I play every single character a lot, okay? Because I really want to become proficient with every character. My lowest rep character is Kyoshin, who's a rep 12 right now. But that's just because Kyoshin's so new and I haven't had really uh, a lot of time to sink into him. My highest level character is Black Pryor, who's 26. But don't let that fool you, because Warden's right behind him at 25, and jo Nobushi's right there at 24, and so is Orochi, and so and Tiond just made it to 25. So it's like, I have a lot of characters who are around the same area. I try to get all my characters around the same area of rep, so that I know that I'm getting enough practice in with all of them. So I don't really main anybody. If I had to pick one that I play more than others, yeah, Black Pryor would probably be up there along with Warden, Tiandi, and Nobushi. But really, I don't have a main to be technical. Number two, who is your favorite character in For Honor? I was going to um, combine this with the first question, but it made me realize your main doesn't have to be your favorite. So granted, that is a good point. If I, and I don't really have a favorite either, unfortunately. The, each character in For Honor is unique to me in some way or another. I really don't like this idea that a character could be inherently better to me just because of aesthetics when their fighting style may be great. Or when their fighting style may be great, I think they look like crap. You know, it's it's hard to pick a favorite. If, I re if you really had to twist my arm and ask, I really like Warden. The design, the style, the fighting, it, it, Warden's up there for me. But I also really love Black Pryor and War Mommy. They're both amazing. Um, the knights in general are awesome, except for um, Gladiator, who I'll get to later. But more, more on that later. Uh, I also really like uh, Shugoki. I love Tian D. I love Shaolin. There are some really awesome heroes out there. Highlander. I almost forgot Highlander. See what I mean? It's hard for me to pick a favorite. So many really stick out to me. So it's hard for me to pick a favorite in that regard. So in asking who do you main and who is my favorite, it's hard for me to pick. It is so hard for me to pick that. Number three, who do you think the next hero will be? I think you'd have a better chance of getting a straight answer out of me by asking me who the next president will be when we haven't even started saying candidates. I have no idea who the next hero will be. I've heard clues. I've heard hints. I've heard concepts. I just don't know. There are no straight up drops. There's no information given. It's hard for me to guess. I, I, I just don't know. Now, what they've been doing recently is they've been making a lot of characters that are based on story characters, like they did War Mommy, who was based on Apollyon. They did Griffin, who was based on, well, who basically is Holden Cross. They did Kyoshin, who's based on uh, Tozen. And maybe the next one will be similar. I've heard rumors that the next hero is going to be Ayu from the story mode. That would be cool. I think that'd be interesting. But that scares me a little, because if all they're going to do now is just rehash story mode characters, the Wu Lin will never get another hero. Which makes me very sad. 
So when asking who do you think the next hero will be, I have no earthly idea. I want it to be a Wu Lin. That's what I would like because we haven't gotten much in the Wu Lin for a while, but I don't know. So when people say, who do you think the next hero will be? My, my response is probably going to be, what clues do we have? What evidence do we have as to who they will be? I will analyze the evidence and then get back to you. But right now, I don't have any evidence, so I can't answer that. Um, how would you feel about a new faction for Honor? I've said this in a previous video where I was talking about the possibility of other factions. And bear with me, this is going to be a long answer. Firstly, I would love a new faction of Honor. Particularly, I would like the Rajput as a faction. I've said it in my previous stream, but I think that the Rajput would be a very inventive and fun new group to throw in. You could have a Vanguard with a Scimitar and Shield combo. You could have a Heavy with a Konda Sword, a Konda Broadsword. You could have an Assassin who uses dual Katar Daggers, Punch Daggers. And you could have a hybrid with an Aura Coiled Whip Sword. See, one of the problems that I have with creating a new faction is the, is the struggle that comes with designing four unique warriors with unique fighting styles and unique weapons that are different from everyone else's. The Rajput are one of the few factions I can think of where you could actually do that. So I think they would work well. The problem is, I don't think it will ever happen. I don't think we will ever see a new faction in For Honor for three reasons. Firstly, like I said, it is very difficult to design four unique heroes with unique weapons and unique fighting styles. You know how everyone kept saying that Griffin and War Mommy were just uh, copies of Warden and uh, Kensei and all that stuff? They were just reusing movesets. Think about that complaint for a minute. Now think about the reality that it's becoming more and more difficult to create unique movesets. It's creating more and more difficult to create unique fighting styles. I, I doubt for I doubt Ubisoft wants to go through another round of all you're doing is reusing character move sets, so it's becoming more and more difficult. So pe like people ask me, hey, do you think we could get a hero with a spear? I'm like, okay, sure. How would they move or act differently than Valkyrie? Do you think that we'll get a hero with a, a axe and shield in the Vikings? That'd be cool. How will it move differently than Warlord? You know, th that's the thing. It, it's not. A simple matter it, it's something that the developers have to really think about so it becomes harder and harder now think about doing that for four unique fact four unique heroes in a different faction the second reason um even though for honor is doing better right now i think they want to put more of their energy and effort into balancing and updates for the heroes that are out now they don't want to sink all their resources into a brand new faction which would require even more weapon designs more armor designs that's a lot of money and third and finally, the way the community reacted when the Wu Lin were released sent a clear message to Ubisoft that we don't like new factions. When the Wu Lin were released, I, I don't care your reasons. Okay, M people have sent me reasons. They've said, no, here's the reason we didn't like the Wu Lin. Okay, I don't care about your reasons. The reality is we reacted poorly. There was a right way to tell the developers our feelings about the Wu Lin and we botched it. The reaction to the Wu Lin was insanely pessimistic and negative, okay? And there are still people today who are probably going to comment on this video and say, the Wu Lin are the worst thing added to For Honor. You can say that. And you're free to that opinion. I'm not going to sit here and argue with you about whether or not they are or aren't. But the fact is, don't come saying to me, hey, do you think we'll ever get a new faction? When it was the For Honor community itself that made it clear we don't want new factions. Everyone came at the Wu Lin saying, we don't need a new faction of light spammers and dodge specialists. We need updates to the current heroes. We don't need a brand new faction that's just a total money grab. We need you to sink more time into the heroes we already have. And you know what? You could be right or wrong about that stance. It's totally fine. But what it told the developers was, oh, so they didn't like the new faction. Well, we learned our lesson. And no new faction will come now. I'm sure of it. The only way we'll get a new faction is if For Honor explodes in popularity and they need a new way to get um, more diversity and content involved. Do I think that there will be an African faction? No. Do I think that there will be a Native American faction? No. Do I think that there will be an Egyptian faction, even though that's also in Africa? No. Now, is that because I don't want them? No, I think they'd be cool. But I think that another problem with creating a new faction is the threat of the current 
political sensibilities. Let's let's think about it for a second. So, right now in For Honor, when you're doing character customizations, you can make your character, regardless of what faction they are, a different skin color. Let's say that we added an African faction, and we decided to make our Zulu warrior white. Let, let's just say that one somebody said, I want to make a white Zulu. Whitewashing, this is totally racist. You don't see that happening? Um, another option. Let's say that you have a Muslim faction. People have asked me about a Muslim faction. I think that'd be awesome, actually. I think that a, a Saracen, Mamelmuke, uh, Saras, uh, kind of a uh, Muslim faction would be very interesting. But let's say that we have a Muslim warrior fighting a warden. The warden kills a Muslim warrior in the fight. And the um, guy playing the warden sends him a message saying, Deus Volt. All in good fun. All good memes. But in today's political sensibilities and issues, all the cl this climate that we have, if you will, I see articles and news reports and all this shit going out just saying, Oh, how could you how could you make this? How could you do this? This is so Islamophobic. And you might say, gosh, why would you think people would overreact like that? You do realize that when the game first came out, there were several articles talking about that very problem. It's not that I don't want these factions. It's that I think that in a world like we have today where everyone is butthurt about everything, where every slight is somehow racist, Islamophobic, sexist, or what have you, there will be people who get easily offended. I'm amazed For Honor has hidden below the radar as well as it has because there's so many ways that people could take some of the things in For Honor and say, this game is racist or sexist. So... In, in short, I would love a new faction, but we've lost that privilege. <laughs> All right, moving on. I've still got a few more questions. Uh, what weapon or hero do you want to see next in For Honor? Um, I've said it before. I want more Wulin heroes because contrary to what uh, what I said earlier, I liked the Wulin. Okay? Even when they were first released, I liked the Wulin. I wasn't one of the people who said, Wulin bad. I liked them. I enjoyed the aesthetic. I thought it was a creative idea. Because if you're going to talk about ancient warriors and heroes, China's a good place to look. China's a really good place to look. And they've got a plethora of unique weapons. They've got tons of unique weapons that we could draw influence from. It amazes me that right now, since their release, we've only gotten one new hero for the Wulin. Sun Hu. Whereas with all the other factions, we've got, for the Knights, we've gotten Centurion, Gladiator, Black Prior, Warmonger, and Griffin. For the Vikings, we've gotten Highlander, Shaman, Jormungandr. And for the Samurai, we've gotten Kyoshin, Aramusha, Shinobi, and Hitakiri. I mean, they've we have seen these three explode with new characters. Wu Lin just kind of trailing behind, and that makes me very sad. I'd really like to see the Wu Lin get more. I'd love a new Wu Lin hero, and I'd like a Wu Lin hero with a Xi'an sword, the gentleman sword, you know, Mulan sword, if you will. I think that'd be cool. I I could see that being a very unique, interesting weapon to use. I'm waiting. I'm waiting, Ubisoft. Hit me with that. All right, I get this one too. Have you played Mordao, Shiv 2, Kingdom Come Deliverance, etc.? Okay, I have played Chivalry 2, but I have not played any of those other games. Now, the follow-up question to that is, do you have any plans to? Not at the moment. Um, I've got a lot going on in my life right now, so that makes things very difficult for me to sit down and play another game or pick out other games to play and sink time into. And any game that I dedicate time to will obviously keep me from making videos about For Honor, or Dead by Daylight, or Fantastical History. You know, it, my time is not my own, and I really need to be careful with how I use my time. So, maybe someday I'll try Mordow or Kingdom Come Deliverance, but it is not this day. And here's one. Um, I often get, hey, who do you think will win? This ancient warrior or this ancient warrior? Like, do you think a Spartan would be a knight? Do you think that a Viking would beat... An Egyptian faction, an Egyptian warrior. Do you think, and here, here's my answer to that. Those are all interesting questions, but I am not the TV show Deadliest Warrior, and I am not the YouTube channel Death Battle. I cannot answer those questions honestly without a ton of context thrown in. 
I need to know what weapons they're allowed. I need to know where they're fighting. I need to know what era in which the warriors are coming from. I need to know what level of armor we're talking about. I need to know the training of the warriors. There are lots of factors that go into a fight. This is something I want you to remember, and you can you can take this as a proverb of the raven. No fight is ever guaranteed. No fight is ever guaranteed. Anything can happen. Any context can be a, a game-changing event. The training, the diet, the weight, the armor style, the era. You know, th there are lots of things that go into a fight that cannot be dictated by statistics. I mean, sure, we could look at um, a Spartan and say, oh, well, the Spartans were the most well-trained and disciplined and powerful warriors in all of Greek history. I mean, you could look at that. But if you're talking about the later era Spartans during, say, the days of Rome, they're not going to be much, I would say, against a Roman legionnaire. But if we're talking about the Spartans during their heyday, then yeah, I think they could take a Roman legionnaire. Unless are we talking about a warfare situation, like a battlefield scenario. Because in that situation, I think the Romans have it because the Romans had ways of countering the hoplite formations and the phalanx which is what the Spartans specialized in. So, you know, it, it, there's so much to take into account when talking about these kind of fights. So it's hard for me to answer those briefly. And then finally, what hero do you hate in For Honor? <clears throat> it changes because sometimes with their updates, they become insufferable. Lately, my biggest um, hated one is probably got to be Gladiator. Gladiator's one that I don't think gets complained about as much as others. Like, for example, everyone points to Orochi and calls him a light spammer. And yeah, for good reason, they are. Everyone points to Nusia and calls her a light spammer. And okay, sure. Everyone points to Nobushi and calls her a light spammer. Yeah. I almost hear no one say that Gladiator's a light spammer. But he is. If you've ever been in a fight with a gladiator and you're actually pressuring them, watch how fast they just switch to light spam. Watch how fast they switch to light spams, toe stabs, dodge punches. Oh, good lord. Um, so yeah, I, gladiator annoys me. And then there's Aramusha. I really do not like the fact that Aramusha can have an infinite light chain from every direction now without combo. It they are now a light spammer too. I don't hear a lot of people talk about that with Aramusha either. I also um, think that Aramusha's um, dodge attack is a little wonky. Sometimes I think that I evade it when it actually, when in actuality, it hits me. I and I hate the bonk. I hate the head bonk he can do now because if if he's in a gank, all he has to do is keep bonking you over and over and again, and it's so irritating. So, yeah, I'm th those two get on my nerves. Um. But yeah, those are the two that really irritate me. Those are the two that really get under my skin. Orochi's annoying, but I don't hate Orochi. Um, Raider right now, I'm having trouble beating because they're so powerful now. But I don't hate Raider. I think if I had to pick a, he a hero that I hate, that I'm like, no, no, rework this hero. Do something different with this hero. They're, they're too annoying. I would say Gladiator and Aramusha. Those are the two that really, really piss me off. <laughs> I'm not even San Hu with her light unblockables. Annoys me that much. It's funny because people used to say that my big hated one was Kensei. But you know what? Kensei and I have reached an understanding. I recognize that Kensei can be a very viable, fun, and unique character with good balancing and good options in their fighting style. Too bad a lot of people just like to light spam with them and also throw in that fourth feat of unblockable everythings to add to that light spam. You know, it, this is why we can't have nice things, For Honor. It's because you do things like that. <laughs> anyway, guys, I know this was a weird video. Um, I hope you watched all the way to the end here. If you did, thank you so much. And this, again, this I didn't make this video to um, 
harass anybody or to belittle anyone. If you've asked me these questions in the chat, know that this isn't made because I'm tired of you. It's because these questions get very repetitive. And I just wanted to get them out there so you all knew the score. But now you know, so that way if people ask me these questions in the future, I can just point you to this video and, hey, I can make some monetization money off of you watching the video and getting the answer to your question. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a like down below and a comment if there are some questions you've had for me that weren't addressed in here. And I will try my best to answer them if I can. All right, guys. See you in my next video. Take care.